Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us today from Jeremy Wilcox, W1LKO. And he has a question about feeding an end fed half wave antenna. He says, as he's been trying to learn how they work, I'm running across different ununs being used. 7 to 1, 9 to 1, 49 to 1, 64 to 1. How do you know which needs to be used uh, for an NFED? Developing NFED antennas or NFED long wave or uh, random wire lengths and so on is a bit of an art form. Let me tell you what's going on in an antenna. Let's take a look at this. Now, you've often seen the picture, if this is a, a dipole, center-fed dipole, um, the current is the most in the middle and goes to zero at the ends, obviously because there's no place for it to go. Okay, and then the voltage is shown as being highest at the ends and down close to zero in the middle and then highest at the ends. Now the impedance at any given point, and it's obviously not to scale, but the impedance at any given point, we'll call us ZP for point, is uh, Z at any given point is the uh, voltage at the point divided by the current at the point, okay? So um, as you move along this curve, clearly at the center, the impedance is lowest. Uh, now these are not actual waveforms, okay? This is not like what you'd see on an oscilloscope. This voltage is an RF, RMS voltage, and this is also an RF current, RMS, root mean square. Okay, so if you were to connect, connect an RF voltmeter, say from, say at this point, you were to, you know, take that to ground or something, uh, you would find that ratio right there. So the Z at the center, Z naught, at the center is on the order of 50 ohms. That means that the voltage is about 50 times I'm sorry, the current. The voltage is 50 times the current. Clearly not drawn to scale, okay. Now, out here at the end, if you want to feed the dipole at the end, the thing to note is that the voltage is max and the current is min, okay. Now, because you're actually transmitting power along the antenna, okay, this does not mean that it's zero at the center or anything like that, but it does mean that the impedance, the voltage over the current, uh, that should be an I, C is capacitance, um, is at a maximum point. Now, what is that maximum point? Well, if this is 50 ohms in the middle and you use a, a 49 to 1 uh, on on, and they are ununs, by the way, um, you are assuming that the voltage, or the uh, impedance right here, Z at the end, is a ratio of 49 to one over the nominal impedance at the center. So that'd be 49 times 50 would be about 2,500 ohms. Uh, in impedance 2950 ohms impedance okay and you can feed that I will tell you that if you use just a 9 to 1 ballon you're assuming this is about 900 and yeah, let's see 9 times 450 ohms and that's much higher than that I wouldn't use a 9 to 1 I wouldn't use a 7 to 1 I would use a 49 to 1 okay a 49 to 1 works, a 64 to 1 would also work here. The idea being that this is high, this is low, 
and you divide a high number by a low number, you get a large number, and that gets you the impedance at the end. The 49 to 1 is the same as 20. Um, you take 50 and multiply that by 49, 22, 2450. Okay, so this is 24. 50 ohms here and that about works and so 49 to 1 is less expensive in terms of wire than a 60 to 1 or a 64 to 1 okay now where do these numbers come from by the way um, when you construct an unun you've got a solid core which is usually a toroid you've got this wire it's on there too this is your uh, ground wire. This is ground, which really means the shield. Okay, so the shield goes through. If you put two turns here, and then you put three, four, five, six, seven out there, this is an auto transformer. And the ratio is two, uh, we should put some more turns on here, two to 14. Okay, and that goes all the way down here. This is your baseline, it's attached to the shield. Okay, 14 over two equals seven to one. Okay, now to get the impedance ratio, you take this and square it, and you get 49 to 1. So a 49 to 1 unun looks like this. This is connected to here, and that's connected there, and they're connected through. Okay, it's unbalanced here, and it's unbalanced out here. This goes to the end of the end fed half wave dipole. Okay. And the question is, what do you do with this? Well, you can do nothing and just let the shield here be the counterpoise, or you can actually attach a counterpoise up to you. Okay? So remember that the impedance ratio is the square of the turns ratio. It's 49 to 1. Now that's 7 to 1. If you were to take 8 to 1, okay, adding more turns on here, uh, and you take the square root of that, um, let's see, 64 to 1, you get 8 turns. That's why there's really nothing in between, because in general you end up with an integer number of turns. Okay, and that will give you the balance that is necessary. Let's make sure we answered your question here. Um, okay, I would use 4 to the end fed what seems to work popularly, which is the 49 to 1. Now, when you are putting the antenna up, okay, the ballon goes at the end of the antenna. So here, well, it's an un, -un. Okay, and you've got a mast, you've got a wire, say, in uh, an inverted V formation, your coax over here. This is how I put up my in-fed half-wave antenna. Okay, and here's your 49 to 1. Now you've got the other lug here. If you want, you can attach it to the post, or you can just attach it to a piece of wire, maybe 10 or 15 feet long, uh, or just leave it out altogether, in which case the shield here acts as the counterpoise until it gets to the point where it hits the lightning arrestor and the shield is grounded okay or you could ground this one separately lots of things you can do and try in getting this thing to work the best way of all now when i put up my infed half wave from my antennas that's the my antennas uh, let's see it was the 80 10 end fed half 
wave. Okay? It worked fine with that anything on here. I was really surprised how well it worked. Now, note, a dipole is a dipole is a dipole. It's a half wavelength piece of wire. You can feed it at the end. You can feed it off center. You can feed it at the center. All sorts of places you can feed it. But it's going to behave like a dipole. Okay, I think that gives you a little bit of uh, information. So there you have it. Infant antennas uh, work well. I'd recommend the 49 to 1. 64 to 1 ought to work too, but the 49 to 1, okay. Now, note that these antennas are often multiband antennas. If they'll work on 80, they'll work on 40, uh, 20, uh, 15, 10. Sometimes they'll be good enough to work on a 30, 17, and 12. They almost will never work an 80 meter length, I'm saying will never work on uh, 60 meters. 60 meters is a weird band that has some unusual harmonic relationships with the other bands. You almost need to put up your own uh, dipole for that. So there you have it. If you've watched this far, I encourage you to subscribe, click like, and share. Also, if you would like to help support this channel, please check out decastlercom support for some ways that you can do that. And until we next meet, 73.